Time for a physics lesson. We only feel gravity's effect on us when we fall. But gravity is always working on us, pulling us down at a force equal to our mass times a constant of 32 feet per second squared. We call that number G, not for $1,000, but... One force of gravity on us, so that is one G. That's Larry Arkin. He knows his G's as he leads the Geico Skytypers, who perform aerobatic flight demonstrations in historic aircraft. On the surface, standing still, we all face one force of gravity. But as we move, accelerate, we stray away from 1G. Most times you won't notice until you drive a bit too fast over that hill or ride a roller coaster or perform tricks in an airplane. That feeling in your stomach? A sign that you're facing more or less force than normal, moving away from that 1G we normally face. Let's focus on positive G. Here's Larry again we can increase the g-force so we have more g-force on our body and we can push it to two or three g's so that when somebody says we went to three g's that means three times the force of gravity but that added force pushing you down into your seat can be dangerous right with positive g the blood is moving away from your brain so if you don't stop it from going away from your brain you can actually get tunnel vision or blackout Fighter pilots can fight this by wearing special flight suits or tightening their lower body, restricting the amount of blood moving away from the important bits up in your head. Dangerous G-forces are a problem reserved for those leading a much more exciting life than you or me. But we can still respect the one force of gravity that we all face every day. For your moment of science, I'm Storm Team 2 meteorologist David Dixon.